Our school officials in Delaware County gathered today to talk about the threat COVID-19 does pose to students and staff. And our Joe Holden is live in Morton with that part of our coverage this evening. Joe. Good evening. Only CBS 3 was there as all of the superintendents across Delaware County met in the building behind me. There is no community spread in Delaware County right now, but officials say they expect that to change. No, you're not supposed to be shaking hands. You're supposed to be elbow. <laughs> I know, elbow. <laughs> Countywide superintendents from all Delco schools meet to talk with emergency managers and what they're calling a pandemic plan. They are leaning forward like everyone should be for the what ifs. And our schools just want to make sure that everything they're doing to protect their schools, to be ready to continue to operate, or if this expands a little bit, to be there to deliver education. One person so far is confirmed to have COVID-19 in Delaware County. They're reporting reportedly in isolation at home and in good condition. Chichester School District's Dan Norelli wears his hat as a parent while superintendent. As parents, we, we're nervous about it, but we also understand and look at look at the reality of the fact is it doesn't it doesn't affect the ch children as much as it does people who have secondary conditions. At Upper Darby's Bond Shopping Center, a cross section of concern about the potential COVID-19 impact. What kind of precautions are you taking? Well, the precautions like sanitizer, I just bought uh, Al Robin alcohol, the last two that they had, I, I took both. <laughs> it's concerning. I mean, it's growing and growing. It's moving rapidly. So I think we need to get a handle on it. What they don't know is what makes them, drives them crazy the most. That's State Senator Tim Carney. The lawmaker wrote this letter to the State Health Department asking for increased transparency when identifying those confirmed to have the virus, requesting that officials reveal the municipality. You saw the letter. We just think it's important to get the most information we can out to people about these things. And school leaders across Delaware County also eyeballed long term closures. One thing that is of a, a point of concern is once schools would be closed, how do you then reopen them? There really seem to be no clear answers from emergency officials, but this is something that is very concerning to them, alarming to them, and their position right now visibly is that they are on top of it. Live in Morton, I'm Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Joe, thank you.